tell you about my favorite saint, Saint Jerome, the patron saint of translators. He was born in the year 342 with the name Eusebius Sobranius Hieronymus. In the last part of his name, Hieronymus, I believe is where they got the name Jerome. He was born to a family of Christians that were well off, so he went to school from a young age. He was born in what is now modern day Croatia. He moved to Rome and did not follow his faith. So it wasn't until he was an adult that he reverted and was baptized. He spoke many languages, principally Latin, Hebrew, and Greek. He is most famous for writing the Latin Vulgate which is the Latin version of the Bible. He wrote um, it completely, and it's still used today as the official Latin version of the Bible, from which other Bibles are translated from. In Rome, he became a priest in the year 378. from Rome to Bethlehem, but also traveled around in Antioch, Egypt, and all around the Holy Land. He was a contemporary and learned from St. Gregory, St. Augustine, and St. Paula. He had a devotion to the infant Christ, baby Jesus. I don't know if he moved to Bethlehem because of his devotion and love for the infant Christ or if he moved there and learned more and fell in love with the infant Christ. But once in Bethlehem, he lived a monastic life with a lot of fasting, prayer, reading, and writing. He founded, along with St. Paula, monasteries um, one for men and one for women. And I thought it was kind of funny um, in readings I did, he was described as cranky, which is always nice to hear um, attributes of the saints that make them seem like the really real people ones that lived such a long time ago and it's hard for us to imagine what life could have been like. He is the patron saint of archaeologists, archivists, Bible scholars, librarians, libraries, school children, students, and of course translators. He is often depicted with a lion wearing cardinal attire with a cross, trumpet, owls, books, and writing materials. His, he died on the 30th of September in the year 420 in Bethlehem, Palestine. And that's why his feast day is on the 30th of September. And I believe the 30th of September is as well the International Day of Translators and Interpreters. Um, thanks to him. I researched a lot about different organizations of translators and interpreters around the world, and I found the Mexican one, which is in Guadalajara, Mexico. And they have a big conference once a year around um, September or October named um, the, the 
conference of Mexican translators, um, Conference St. Jerome. And I thought that was interesting. Thank you very much for watching, and good luck with your studies. Bye-bye.